Hi there, welcome back to the VMO YouTube channel. This is Jansen. Today I'm talking about dongles and you're probably thinking, oh, not again, Tico, come on, shut up about dongles. We all know what a dongle is. We know how it works. Okay, yeah, fair comment. But I've started doing something a little bit different with my dongles and I'm gonna show you now. So the conventional dongle rig, as most of us will know it. We've got a perfection loop there. We've got the circle hook on the perfection loop. We've got a strand of braid attached to the hook and then we've got a clip or a loop of our choice on the end of the dongle so that is the dongle rig like i say as we know it well recently fishing over a rough ground mark i did stub a couple of hooks and obviously you want a hook to be ultra sharp when you're fishing if it's got any bluntness to it at all you've got to change that hook over you do not want to be fishing with a blunt hook so what do you do? The obvious thing to do would be to cut it off and tie another one on. Now, that's going to take time and effort, plus the fact if you're using a pulley rig with a crimp instead of a swivel halfway through, it's going to mess up your dimensions. The rig's not going to clip down as effectively as it did before. The snood is going to become shorter. So what can we do to facilitate a quick change of hook without cutting this rig down? Well, let's take a look at that now. This is what I've come up with. Now, I'm not saying I've invented this. I'm sure it's been done before. But for me, this is something I've tried for the last couple of weeks and it works an absolute treat. So all I've done is replace the perfection loop with a Cedra speed clip. So there's the hook. It can still pivot. It can still rotate. It can still do its thing. Initially, I did try it with a swivel as well, but I found that was a bit too much. Remember, at the end of the day, if you are fishing over rough grounds, the minimal components that you use in your rig, the better. You've got less chance of getting snagged up. Anyway, the swivel, it seemed like a nice idea because it would also rotate, but I did away with that, and I've been using just this Cedra speed clip. So there's our hook, there's our dongle. If I wind this rig in, and I find that the hook point has turned over, it's bluntened off, or indeed if I wanted to change to a bigger hook, or a different style of dongle. All I need to do is clip off that hook, chuck it to one side and replace it with a new hook. And there we go, we're back in business, raise a sharp hook, good to go. What this also means is you can use different lengths of dongles, different clips, whatever, but the point is you can change it by means of this Cedra speed clip really quick and easy to do brand new hook on it goes like that the other great thing about this is if you replace your rigs time after time simply because the hooks have got blunt you don't need to be doing that anymore you just unclip and clip your next hook back on there it also means that rather than baiting up an entire spare trace and hanging that from your tripod you could just have a selection of dongles like this baited up with your crab or your fish bait or whatever you want to do and you could even keep those in your cool bag so as soon as you wind in you swing your trace to hand clip off clip on just with the snood a bigger hook, a bigger bait, a longer dongle, a shorter dongle, whatever you want to do, it just gives you that greater versatility when you're actually fishing on the beach. As I say, I'm sure I'm not the first person to come up with this idea, but for me, it adds an extra element to the dongle rig. It makes a good rig an even better rig. Well, there you go. That's my revised dongle rig. It's been working an absolute treat for me. There's nothing worse than blunt hooks. If you're fishing with blunt hooks and you get a bite, chances are you're going to miss it. It's as simple as that. Keep those hook points ultra sharp. And this is one way of going about that with a dongle rig. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel. Check out our apparel section in the store tab below and I'll catch you again.